All right, we are back. Hello, everyone. Uh, we're just going into the final area here for our uh, chops, and then uh, we will go on in the game. You know, one moment though. Just gotta open up my window here. No, that's not it. And this one is uh, Rihanna, the final area. All right. Sorry, guys. So, guys, I uh, got uh, notified by my... So, back when I was buying this place, I signed up for, like, a realty sites. And they occasionally send me emails of... Uh, Lucky Man. Sorry. And they sent me one of a house in the, the town I grew up in, actually. Happy Novelist. And it's, uh, interesting because it's a house that I've seen, like, probably a dozen times growing up uh, and never really ever paid attention to it. It's actually a really nice house. It's, uh, we are looking for Epistle of Love, Romantic Lady. Oh, it's this lady. I'm sorry, I cannot help myself. I'm in love with whom? It is a secret. Why, I'm not even told him. Why not? Well wrote a letter and a pistol to love and I'll not confess my love until that letter finds its way back to my hand. Romantic, no? Uh, how did you know of that letter? Wait, does this mean my love is not to be? Hmm? You've not come to return my letter? My, how foolish I must have seemed. I'm so sorry, so he did pick up my letter. How do I know who it was? Because I placed it in such a way that he would see it first. Of course, being sure to stay out of sight. Many thanks to coming to tell me. Now to know fate has triumphed once more. Here, a chop. Sure. All right. Who's this? Jabin, lady. Okay, that's not what we need, but... Lazy Profiteer. Is this, uh... It is. Headhunters employ gambits during battle to aid their judgment, correct? Now, what I've been pondering is, what about a gambit for the markets? I know gambits can go awry if you don't keep an eye on them, but think of the coin you can make. Gil, gil, and more gil! What's worth any... That's worth any risk. All right, so... We're looking for a researcher's wife. Tour leader, okay. A gambit for the market. Novelist. Dangerous chef. This is the Terror Raider. Vegetable seller. Good brother. Yeah, my good husband works at Jack Lord Laboratory, and well, I shouldn't say this, but he works on something so secret that he can't even tell me. Now, he's not to the, the giving type, my husband, but just the other day he gave me the most unusual gift. Hard. I've taken to carry it around with me, and it's quite odd, but I feel the strangest urge to spend my gill at the raffle house, or on stock notes. Do you think perhaps that this card might be one of these gambits? In truth, I find it quite unsettling that I was contemplating getting rid of it, yet it was a gift from my husband. I suppose I couldn't just give it away. I'm not even sure what it truly is. Thank you for your story, however. Here, a chop. May it serve you in good stead. Alright. You, who are you? Philosopher of Cuisine. You know, you don't know who I am. The only philosopher of cuisine recognized by the Senate. That's who. Yet, I must confess, I'm troubled of late. You see, in my profession, one eats rather a lot of excellent food. But with such excellence, one forgets to enjoy it. I long to be stimulated. Somewhere, there must be a revolutionary dish made from naught but the best ingredients by no one but the best chef in Arcades. This man must be jerked off by food. He needs to be stimulated. I do still love to cook. Why, the other day, I held an impromptu party at my house and fed 
a new dish of mine to my closest acquaintance. Why, they told me it was a taste of tantalized Topanga philosopher of cuisine, yet their faces were sour as old manna cheese. My new dish was terrible, I'm sure of it. I've invited them back, of course, to no reply. Could it truly have been so bad? Revolutionary dish? Well, I suppose one could call my new creation that. I'd be happy to give some of the, to this gentleman that you speak of. I used a base of pureed tomatoes, you see, adding to that several fish bones upon which I poured a rich caramel sauce. Truth be told, I had quite a bit left over and was wondering what to do with it. Here, take this chop and thanks. Unless you'd like some food, that doesn't sound great. Guys, join Deuce. Speaking of being a dangerous cook, guys, you guys gotta try Deuce food. Deuce. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm inviting over everybody in uh, stream to your place. Uh, just, you know, feed them. Alright. Not you. Good brother. Have you been to the re requisite shop? I must say, they've done a splendid job of broadening their inventory of late. Quite a lot on the shelves. Ah, I just remember my sister's been looking for a certain thing. And last I visited, they had just what she wants. Now, where should she be? Guys, don't do this for a boss fight. What are I looking for? Ah. Welcome back to you. Nope. There it is. I have been waiting for an item I've wanted for such a long time. The proprietor said that she'd ordered one straight away, but that was over a month ago. My brother, uh, my brother keep an eye out for me, but he's not one to remember such things. Oh well, I suppose I shall have to make do with an out. Really? So he did remember? Why, I must go to the store before someone else buys it. Thank you for the tip. Here, a chop. Alright. Tours of the aerial gardens in Bejerba are quite popular these days. Why, just a short while ago, I had some... I had to turn someone away from a full tour. Wouldn't you know that the next moment we had a cancellation? Pity, the poor lady did so want to go. She must still be nearby. Wait, why does this Bujerban lady want a tour of Bujerba? Okay. I had thought to vacation in Bujerba, you see? But I run a small enterprise and just haven't been able to find the time. My good fortune, I was recently permitted to go on leave. Straight away, I went to reserve a ticket, and to my misfortune, the tour was full. What? Is that a cancellation? Wonderful. My gratitude for coming to tell me this NPC just fucking shoved me out of the way. Every good deed deserves a chop. Tis custom. Here's yours. And she's talking to someone who clearly is not listening to her. Fresh vegetables! Get your fresh vegetables! Why yes, they're all grown, farm grown. None of those magic greens here. All natural, all delicious. Of course people used to scoff at my greens, but the taste is undeniable. I have so many my loyal customers now, I'm rather overtaxed. Oh, I've run out of ears too! Pardon? Why, ears of corn, of course. Wherever has my associate gone? We can't keep customers waiting. Alright, so we have... That one, we gotta bring over to this... Dude, right? Where is he? Me? Uh, I've been running all about town, trying to sell enough greens to please me partner. She wants another farm out in Tequila, you see? Ah, uh, what was she saying? She ran out again? Noses or something? Nah, that one in, huh? No time for pondering. Go out and sell, sell, sell. Ah, uh, ears of corn. That was it. Hey, man. I just seeing an empty corn bin at the storehouse. She probably forgot. There's none left. Making a few here, a few gill is all well good, well and good, but when you get too busy, you start forgetting stuff. Here's the chop anyway, thanks for reminding me. Alright, so we've done Lazy Profiteer, Green Seller, Good Brother, Philosophy of Cuisine, Tour Leader, Lucky Man, and uh, now we gotta do the Tarot Lady. Alright. Do you know the Tarot? I'm a reader here in town. You might think a modern city would have a small use for such things, yet I feel just the opposite. And indeed, my prediction was correct, yet another unforeseen problem has shown itself in the cards. My readings reveal only tragedy. That is to say, whenever I deal with the cards for someone, they meet with horrible ill luck. Almost as my readings themselves beckon misfortune. What do you think, Mira? Do they beckon misfortune? Yeah? Mm. Mira's still laying on me. Alright, we're looking for... 
No, not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. novels in between trips. Each one, I think, uh, to ma uh, make a moving tale of tragic love. The sort that make grown men weep in rivers. When I sit down to read what I've written, I find it quite happy. Droll, even. Why can I not write something truly miserable? A fortune teller that only sees misfortune? Why, of course! I cannot write what I don't know. After all, and my life has been such a happy one. I have a mind to visit this reader of the cards and see just what tragedy lies in stores for me. I thank you. A chop for your advice. All right, so what does this mean? Uh, that should be all of them. Actually, let me find the tarot reader. Where is she? I offered to tell someone of their misfortune. They accept it quite gladly. It proves old adage. It takes all sorts. Read my misfortune. Oh, not afraid of the future. Then I should. Shall I tell? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yes. No. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. An answer reveals itself, yet its meaning is obscure to me. I see nothing in Trant. I see nothing in Mulberry. I see nothing in Rihanna. I see nothing in Nildase. Well, I do hope that was of assistance for you. I'm sure many trials await you in your future, but do face them with hope. It could always be worse. All right, so what that meant was that uh, I got all the uh, chops. Now, like I said, you don't have to do all that. You only have to do three of them. Fortunately, I was just doing it because you get an achievement out of it. Very well, here's your sandalwood job. Congratulations on getting your sandalwood. This des designates you as the most promising artist. Why? You might even make a gentry one day. Those with sandalwood may ride cabs and get into Central. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's an indirect achievement though. You need it for something else, but there it is. Mira, why do you keep casually Lifting your paw towards this fucking cord. She's just like laying in my lap and then slowly reaching out her paw towards this cord I have over here that I use to charge my phone. Um, like Grogu in The Mandalorian reaching for the uh, control stick. Alright, guys. We're gonna go on in the story now. Now, that, like I said, the the, the place we're going, Draclor, um, is actually, you know, a decent place. Is that a sandalwood chop I see? Very well, this cab is for Snowball. Good sir. So, guys, Mira is a surprisingly big eater. She goes through her food fairly quickly. Right, Mini Kit? And if she does this during the night, what she'll do is she will wake me up by licking my ear. And she does this fairly frequently lately. It's super annoying. Ah, so pleased you could join me. Jules had a morsel for us. A light airship used by Dracula researchers is just up ahead. We'll take that and go through the service entrance. Let's make haste, shall we? Yeah, thanks, Baltier. So the Trident is actually better than that. So he can equip the hand bombs, and we're going to use the hand bombs, but I'm going to use them every fifth level. Make sure everybody's equipped with the right thing. You're supposed to be using your the pole, your bow. Actually, hang on. We bought you the burning bow. And I have a new uh, katana, but she can't use it yet. When can you use it? Oh, soon. Okay. Can I give you a hand bomb? Um, yes. Okay. Who else has stuff that I need? Licenses. Vaughn, you need 80 to use the Doom Maze. Okay. It's gonna be a while till we get that. In fact, 
Hang on. Sorry, Steel. We gotta use the golden amulet on Vaughn for a bit. I gotta save my game here, guys. <laughs> After all of that. Here, yeah, that's a screwdriver. Why are you playing with the screwdriver? Speaking of the screwdriver, uh, guys, the other day, I uh, went to open my door from the outside, and the doorknob was like fucking like loose. So I had to go get a screwdriver and retighten it. The complices of the Senate have been quelled, Your Honor. Our forces sustained but light casualties. You have leave to withdraw. One detachment will remain here to guard Draglaw. My lord. Do you think they're on to us? It would seem not. Though this will make our task more difficult still. More difficult still. Right. No entry to Central at this time. And refrain from suspicious behavior until things settle down. You know what I mean. I'm trying to decide, but there's been an emergency. No one is allowed into Central at this time. I like how he's like, refrain from suspicious behavior at this time. They're exclusively on the Vaughn, nobody else. Certainly took your time getting here, didn't you? Off seeing the sights, perhaps. Not likely. Do you know how long it took to get the chops to get up here? What's that? But I gave Jules some tops. Jules? A squad of judges has been sent to Draclor. You'll find the service entrance rather a difficult proposition, I'm afraid. You're doing, no doubt. You know how the Ministry of Law would move, so you had Vaughn out collecting chops until the judges could reinforce Draclor, of course. Tell me, how much did the Ministry pay for word of the prodigal son? The Ministry? Oh, judges make poor customers, my friend. Too many rules, too many laws. Perhaps you didn't know, Master Bothier, that Draclor is a toy box these days, filled with your Lord Father's conceits. All developed without the Senate's knowledge, of course. Why? Not even the Emperor knew the full extent of S -S -S Dr. Sid's operations. Now, here's the catch. Since Vane himself had declared, uh, declared dictator, nary a peep has come out of that laboratory. I know people would sell their own mum for the mere scrap of information about the goings-ons inside Jacklor. People like Rosarian sympathizers worried about the Empire's weapon program. So, we create a disturbance and get you get your windfall on dirt in Jacklor. And in exchange for your service, I've spoken to a cabbie. When he asks where to go, tell him you know where to go. Simple, no? Huh, a deal. Broke it in true Arcadia fashion. Why, it's just like old times, Jules. Brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> Good to be back, eh? My regards to your lord father, Master Famran. Or rather, Master Bothier. Yeah. And on and on. Wait, his name is Famran? <laughs> the crabby driver drives in the jail. You wanna go there, eh? You sure? Alright, all aboard. So this Jules, is he some friend of yours both here? You two seemed... close. Close enough for fisticuffs. Driver, faster if you please. I would be loath to expend any of the violence of my present mood on my companions. S sir? Yes, sir! Jeremy, have you ever hopped in a cab and had them drive you to Dracula Laboratory? And then delete the contacts from your phone? Come, this way. Could you imagine? He's just in the, in the thing, just beating the shit out of Vaughn. Just 
pummeling the ever living it's too quiet. Out of them. Passing strange. There are supposed to be guards here. Maybe you were just lucky, huh? Maybe you're just optimistic. Well, sure. Something may be afoot. We proceed with caution. No time for caution. Step to it. Sid's chambers are on the top level. So I'm not sure if there's any good treasure here or not. Uh, even still, we're not going to spend too much time here looking for it if there is. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Oh, look at her new bow. Look at this. Hey, look at her new bow. It is far less stupid looking than the one we had before. You... you are with him? I'm gonna fart. It's gonna stink like you. The is going to the top floor, but it's not stop here. Then why is there an opening here? It's a what? statement baffles me. How does that work? Alright, so I don't think we can actually get up into that area. If it was a lift there that said already oh, I mean it would have had to have been, right? That's the only thing that works. Help me! Alright. Ends of life. Decoy doors. Select destination 66 floor. Alright, let's go for the 66 floor. Oh, okay. I didn't see that I said that. That was the current floor. So invaders open the shaft and fall to their deaths. Except my characters didn't even open the shaft. They were just like, oh, okay. This doesn't go up to the top one. How they know that was just looking at the shaft and baffling, too. And then again, I look at my shaft all the time and I'm like, yeah, this definitely doesn't go up to the top floor. Don't you think you'll get away with this? I uh, don't think you'll get away with this. Now, why I'm thinking about that at any given moment, who can say? Anyway. Pretty sure some of these doors actually open up the places, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, he casts haste every time it falls off. Stay away from Dr. Sid! Stay away from the summoner! Oh, that reminds me. After you beat fucking Dark Veil for, um, in FF10, the NPCs walk up and they're like, St Stay away from the summoner! And you're a bad man! He's had visitors. One's lacking manners by the look of it. Someone after the Nethocyte? But look at the size of those papers. The Yuck de Four, was it? Six years, and ever since you got back, this. What madness found you there? Hmm? Ah, I'm up, Max. Drop bulkheads five and eight. Speed to it! They found us. These earlier visitors, more like. We should lie low for now. No, we'll use their confusion. We need to find Sid now. Buffy is all like, uh-uh. 
Hey, we got a map of the place. Cool. Um, what? If I have a map of this place, then why is it all blurry? Anyway, let's go in here. Now we can access these doors. Oh, hey guys. What's going on? There were soldiers in the laboratory. Has there been an intruder? The bulkheads are functioning. We're safe. The bulkheads red and blue are activated alternatively. When one opens, the other locks. No one who has intimate knowledge familiar with the workings of the laboratory could get through. The guards will find them soon enough. So then who might you be? Nobody without intimate knowledge can get through. Who are you? First of all, that idea can fuck itself. <laughs> It's called laboratory security measures to people I've never seen before. Exactly, you get it. Okay, so that's probably how we swap the bulkheads, but... It's probably not going to help us right now, as I want to go over here and check, I think, this door, yeah. If I remember correctly, there is some good weapons you can get here. I think. Maybe not. Quite a commotion outside. It's hard to concentrate with such a racket. I have all the latest manufactured nephocyte data on Dr. Sid. Yeah, Dr. Sid's unreachable. Perhaps he's pondering the mysteries of the universe on 70. I'm pretty sure some of these side rooms do have stuff in them, but... Honestly, I don't remember for sure. Wait, did you forget the door code? It's... That sounds like something the, uh, the Katie people at the, the Southern Campus would do. This device controls the laboratory. So can you have any bulkheads? The blue bulkheads are currently closed. Open. Men. I gotta tell you, the creators of FF12 really like this alternating door sequence. Ah, oh, here we go. Excellent. Ash leveled up. You're still only going to be able to use the Kiki into Emonji. Okay, you're fine. Actually, I can give you the new shield, the Christian shield. Yeah. Alright, um, licenses. We get to do this before we go on break. Right, you know what? Let's just uh, end the recording here, guys, and then we'll go on break.